Cadillac's best-known SUV is, yes, Escalade, but it also has a healthy stable of crossovers, the X-T4, X-T5, and now the X-T6. Like the Slade, the 6 is a three-row machine, which will catch the attention of well-to-do families, but this is a trimmer size with a unibody structure. Don't tow big boats or take VIPs off-roading? X-T6 might be a better choice. Cadillac is a General Motors brand, but before you start thinking that this is just a gussied up Chevy Traverse, uh, no, it's not. It uses a different architecture, but it is not truck based like the Escalade, which will remain the top tier in the Cadillac brand. We wanted this vehicle to, uh, to really be a little bit of everything to everyone. We wanted to make sure that it had all the features that folks were looking for, from comfort and convenience to safety. Cadillac has brought automotive writers to Washington, D.C. to check out the big XT. On this list here, you'll see in bold all of the features that are standard equipment, right? Entry-level XT6, key things such as advanced park assist, allowing you to uh, have uh, the vehicle control of both parallel and perpendicular parking maneuvers, uh, and this includes braking control as well. So the only thing the driver needs to do is shift from drive to reverse. Standard safety tech includes automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, and lane keep assist. Adaptive cruise is part of an optional package. Available in premium luxury and sport models, the 6 doesn't have Escalade's visual gravitas. It's kind of understated. The crisp-looking profile brings Volvo's XC90 to mind. If you've seen Cadillac's Escala concept, you'll recognize the face. Other competitors are Acura MDX and Lexus RXL. There's a choice of two LED headlight systems, one that in the future will gain the ability of dynamic lighting if the government approves it in the US. And kudos to Cadillac designers for reducing rear end clutter by tucking the wiper under here. It's row number three that will draw families to the six, so Cadillac execs feel it will attract younger buyers. It's easy enough to get to the back. Compared to Escalade, it takes less effort for kids and adults to scamper back here since the floor is lower. There are belts for two back here. I'm five foot nine. My headroom is good with the mid-row adjusted for me being comfortable here. Legroom is adequate. So is foot room. In short, it's okay back here for adults. I support that could be a little bit better. The seats are low, so there's enough headroom. Oh, and everybody gets their own USB port and cup holder. There's also a standard big glass roof, which helps the ambiance. All XT6s are motivated by a 3.6 liter V6 that is not turbocharged. So premium or sport, there's the same 310 horsepower and 271 pound feet of torque to haul the brood around. Weight averages around 4,600 pounds. The transmission is a nine speed with an electronic selector that everyone is going to. I find them all a little vague feeling. Yes, manual shifting is a thing here. There are drive modes, though no way to individually select steering weight, transmission and throttle mapping or suspension firmness. Premium luxury models come standard with front drive and fixed rate dampers that are tuned towards comfort. All wheel drive with a single clutch differential is optional. Sport models come standard with all wheel drive, packing a dual clutch diff in back, plus continuous damping control with active handling. Our drive route starts near the Watergate complex in the foggy bottom neighborhood of DC. A spotter's guide, sport models get a different mesh grill treatment compared to premium luxuries approach with little crests in it. Lower fascias are different too. Might be worth it to buy the sport just for the blacked out tail lamps. We quickly make our way out of town, out of the rain, and into Virginia, where law enforcement takes speeding very seriously. One writer got a ticket. I asked the Cadillac engineers on hand whether or not the X-T6 will get a more powerful engine down the road, and I of course got the line, we don't comment on future product. Of course I did. Uh, this one is just fine. All guess zero to 60 takes seven seconds. This is not a V model, but there's enough power to pass without white knuckling it. I got by a few folks on two lane roads without too much drama. I was more worried about the troopers. <laughs> we saw a lot of them. Is the X-T6 quiet and comfortable? 
Of course it is. It's a Cadillac. But let me say once again, this brand does not get its due when it comes to driving dynamics. It's not soft and floaty. It's actually kind of fun to drive. Body roll is very well controlled. The sport's firmer suspension offers up crisper cornering than the unenlightened would expect. Test drive one, you'll see. But drive both models. Something to keep in mind when choosing your XT6, the sport version is physically unique. It uses a different steering rack, a dual clutch rear differential. The suspension is set up differently. They are actually different animals. The sport's rear diff vectors torque side to side to improve handling, but does not overspin the outside wheel like Acura's super handling all-wheel drive. Compared to Escalade, that's easily a half ton heavier, everything about the 6 feels more trim, a big help in the city. So for a three-row crossover, this does not drive like a school bus. It actually feels a size smaller than it is. Much more car-like than Big Brother Slade, the Sixer is more fuel efficient and uses standard grade gasoline. You can definitely tell the difference when switching modes in this car and the transmission kicks down very nicely and it's always in the right gear, very nicely tuned. The optional adaptive cruise control uses cameras and radar to smoothly pace traffic to a full stop, nothing abrupt about it. Actually, I really like the way the lane keep assist feathers in and let's not forget Super Cruise. Super Cruise is coming to this car, yay. And this crossover can tow up to 4,000 pounds. Depending on model and trim, Cadillac offers two wood and two carbon fiber treatments in the cabin. This car is a loaded top of the line sport platinum that goes for about $73,000. The copper infused carbon fiber piece is big and beautiful. Prices start at $53,690. Even base models get yards of cut and sewn trim. I've groused about the brand cutting corners with less expensive materials down below the belt line. And while there's still a little of that, and door pockets that don't get flocking to keep stored things from rattling around, Cadillac's definitely heading in the right direction. Audiophiles will want to go with the premium Bose sound system. It sounds great with larger audiophiles. XT6 is one of the first vehicles to get Sirius XM's 360L service, which is not just passive satellite radio. You can actually call up programming on demand, sort of like streaming services on your phone. Ergonomics are well done. There's a nice slot for wireless phone charging. The center console is moderately sized. It won't hold a standard sized iPad, but those can be stashed down below. Both USB-A and C jacks are on board to feature-proof this rig. In the past, people have dinged the Cadillac User Experience, or Q. This is the latest version that uses a touchscreen with pretty good response and a new knob that can be turned, pushed, and nudged if you don't like fingerprints on the display. The volume knob is here too. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? Of course, GM has always been big into them, and the surround view camera system is quite good. For fun, you can scroll through the different views. XT6 can seat six or seven and has slightly more legroom in the second and third rows than the standard Escalade. It can be divvied up to make everyone happy. FYI, the wider Slade has some five inches more hip room if those dimensions are decision makers for you. The engineers on hand pointed out that they worked on getting things to glide nicely, and I found that to be true. Seats are heated back here, and there are the expected accoutrements to make life happy for those riding along. As sure as there are crazy politics in Washington, D.C., there must be a Costco around here someplace, but I don't have time to find it because I'm already late for getting this car back, so no TP test. But there are some neat things to show you here. For starters, the lid stays open in any position. That's actually pretty helpful. If you're always bringing the wine, Cadillac claims three bottles fit here. With all the seats in use, there isn't gobs of space here, but the load floor isn't too high. That and a standard powered third row will make this crossover easier for kids and smaller adults to use. Yes, it works raising them back up too. And on top of that, there are redundant controls so that people heading into the third 
row can raise them there. No trip to the back needed. And there's a release in back to drop the middle row too. All very handy, but this is a caddy, so this kind of stuff is expected. The resulting space is big and flat, not as huge as an Escalade, but it beats MDX and XC90. While in Washington, D.C., Cadillac took us out to see some of the monuments, but really, I think it just wanted to show off the optional infrared night vision. It highlights pedestrians, political animals, and other mammals. It would be great for rural driving to see deer. Comparing retail pricing when similarly equipped, the Cadillac is around $10,000 more than the Acura and Lexus, about the same as the Volvo, and some five to seven grand less than the Mercedes GLE 350 and Audi Q7. General Motors tends to set retail pricing high for lots of negotiation room, so really, your bargaining skills will come into play. And base models have nearly all of the safety tech and convenience features to satisfy buyers. Top trim levels aren't really necessary. XT6 does not redefine the luxury three-row crossover segment in any way, but it's a solid effort by Cadillac and shows that the brand is paying attention. It has mass appeal with less mass than an Escalade. As I will always tell you, General Motors paid for my trip to Washington, D.C. and put me up in a nice hotel. It's a thing. Manufacturers do it. I'd rather stay home, but it gets these reviews to you quicker. And Cadillac parked an XT6 in the lobby, right next to the espresso bar. <laughs> Not really sure how it got in. I looked around for doors and openings large enough, but didn't see any. And I love how people don't seem to notice it. Like, it's supposed to be there. Well, that's my first look at the Cadillac XT6. Do I like their alphanumeric nomenclature? No, I do not. I nearly called this the CT6 like half a dozen times. Uh, a reminder, if you like these reviews, of course, click subscribe and then notifications. The more subscribers I have, the more views I get, the easier it will be for me to pay off my kids' college debt. Just saying. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.